Hello everyone. Uh, you're welcome to another video tutorial, uh, Zoom tutorials. Now, uh, on this video, I want to tell us, oh, sorry, I want to show us how to share our screen. Okay, how to share our screen. Now, I am not going to share screen from this point here. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to share screen from this. Now, the reason why, look at this, okay, share computer sound. Of course, uh, you, uh, I'm not going to do this. The reason is this. If I share my screen from this place right here, most of the time, this is what I'm going to get. See? This is what I am going to get. It's going to tell me to enter sharing key or meeting ID. I don't always have to type in my meeting ID every time because it's kind of like nine digits or thereabouts. So that's long for me to start cramming or something. So I'm not going to type it in here. So I'm going to share screen from this icon. I will not do that. I'm going to share screen from new meeting. All right. Okay, so look at the personal ID here. I could say I want to copy this personal ID and then come over here and then click on share screen. All right, look at this again. Okay, maybe you can use it, but I'm not going to use it for the purpose of this video. You can click right here. This icon here is a drop down icon. So I can copy my ID. Once I copy my ID, then I can then click on this and it shows me. Once I click on this, it takes me there and then I paste it. Once I paste it, then I click on share. But I don't want to go through that process. So I have to, told you two ways of sharing your screen all right now the way the way i want to focus on on sharing the screen is with this part here of new meeting so i'm going to click on new meeting right now so hello i'm back again okay so it's connecting once you see this it means it's connecting so you have to wait for it if you're using a mobile device you're going to see a sign here it's going to be spinning so I'm going to join with computer audio right here. All right. So I'm going to share screen from this place. Okay. Now I've told you two ways. Now the first way is that you can share, click on share screen directly, but you have to know your copy your ID and paste it and then share. But this is the way I want to use for this meeting for this tutorial. So I'm going to click on share screen. But before I do that. I'm going to go to uh, manage participant because I noticed that I didn't really talk about how to mute your participant in the other video or something like that. So, in order to mute, you can mute all. You can mute all your participants at the same time. Current and new participants will be muted. And you can check this to say allow participants to unmute themselves. Okay, you can uncheck it if you want, whichever way you want it. All right, so just click on yes. So everybody is. So once you see this highlighted on blue, that means you've muted everybody. All right, so you can unmute all again. So all participants are unmuted. This is right here. So everybody's unmute, uh, unmuted. Now you'll notice that right here before in the, uh, in the old version of Zoom, you have invite here, but now it's security. So invite is now here. The invite comes up after you click on chat. Oh, so after you click on manage participant, whichever one you click on, uh, I think it's if you click on manage participant, yeah, if you click on manage participant, you're going to find it here. So invite. So I can invite people from here. It's going to take you directly to uh, contact. See, you, you have to click on the contact here then before you click on invite. See another password. Can you see the passwords? So passwords are generic. As they are randomly created anytime so it's not that one password is for every meeting you create no it's generated randomly or i can definitely go to email i've treated this before all right and send the invitation via email so i'm not going to go into that so now you can get out to mute your participants and how to unmute participants and how to invite people from this side here after you've clicked on manage participants this options right here uh you can mute participants on entry so if i click on it right here it says allow participants to unmute themselves i might say no i might then continue so 
So I have, uh, look at it, it's checked. You can see it's checked. I can uncheck it. If I go back there now, it's unchecked. All right, so just play around with all this, all right? Now you can also, another way to mute your participants directly, maybe you have 20 people right here that you're, you're chatting with, you're talking with at the same time. You can just come over here, you'll see, you'll always see this mute. So you can mute that person in particular. So once you meet that person in particular, there's going to be the red icon there. There's going to be the red icon there, right there. So it shows that you've, um, you've muted the person. So you can come back here and then maybe the person, you're, maybe it's a, a kid that is kind of disturbing the class. Maybe it's just shouting or something. Or you just want everybody to focus on a particular child. Let this child talk. Nobody should reply. Even if they are talking, nobody's going to hear them. So that's why sometimes it's beneficial to say that don't check this. Don't check this. As a teacher, don't check this. So that um, you have the control. So once you mute them now, you have the control from here right now. Look at it. You can see a lot. So if this was checked, if this was checked, as a teacher, it's best for you to just uncheck it so that you are not allowing them to unmute themselves. No. So you just check. You just uncheck it. So it's unchecked right now. That means, uh, sorry, you, yeah, you uncheck it. You uncheck it. So once you uncheck it, that means you are allowing. You do not want to allow participants to unmute themselves. So right here. So once I've muted a child, a child cannot unmute himself or herself. No way. I'm the one that's going to now come over to then unmute the child. All right. So that's the beauty about us. So I'm, I've unmuted myself. Anyway, now let's go to the focus of the lesson. The focus of the lesson is on share screen. All right, so share screen right now. If I click on share screen right now, okay. Now my focus today on this uh, lesson is about uh, whiteboard, all right? So I wanna, uh, in the beginning of uh, this Zoom tutorial, I, I, I kind of, refer to this there's a zoom plugin for your iphone or ipad in which once you, you've downloaded that plugin once you downloaded that plugin you can actually share your iphone or ipad screen all right good so now whiteboard right now so i'm gonna click on whiteboard this is what i want to share now you notice that there are also some other parts here opened okay uh, these are the uh, programs that i'm currently running right now on my device on my laptop um, I'll talk about this later but today let's focus on whiteboard now let's click on share now if you want to share your whiteboard uh, your own screen is going to be here now all your participants are going to see this whiteboard all of them all of them are going to see the whiteboard all right so all of them are going to see it so this is it um these are the tools to share your while you while you're working on a whiteboard all right let's say you want to teach them something on mathematics for instance if it's english you can type it here okay let's just use a text see it's just like a text box like we have in microsoft word or in powerpoint this is a text box you can just type that uh, uh lesson you can type the lesson objective right there so you can see you're actually having a class with them lesson objective do you understand so enter key you can type right um um, um identify that's Parts of class. So as a teacher right now, it's like you now all your all your students are actually look, uh, watching you right now live like this. All right, and this does not take much of your bandwidth. So don't worry about it. it doesn't take much of your bandwidth. And this hour. So all your pupils are actually seeing what you're doing live like this live okay so it's cool this way if you want to share your whiteboard so that's for text you can actually draw 
And if you want to draw just over around it, then you see some wavy lines, lines, and this and that. So let me just pick one. Let me just, just for illustration purpose, look at this. Uh, let me just say, for instance, in mathematics, I want to just say, okay, today I want to like uh, demonstrate how to multiply. So let's say uh, I noticed that um, Thomas didn't get this last time. So we want to revise this. Okay, students, now listen carefully as I explain this. Can you see this now? So that's how cool is that? How cool is that? Now I use this on purpose because this is thicker and this is lighter. Look at the difference. Can you see? So that's why I use that on purpose. That's thicker than a line. You can use a line. Now lines are you have to just a line. Okay, let a line. Just play around. This is a I kind of like this one. This is a uh, an arrow. I like it because it kind of allows you to point to something. Look at it. So maybe you want to point to this particular thing. You can just leave it like this. See, it points there. It's cool. I like the arrow part. And then uh, you can use this any tool you want. This is a shape, a diamond, uh, a rhombus shape. This is a rectangle, an oval. This is another shape right now. You can draw it. This is field shape. It's different from this. This is a field shape. This is not a field shape. See, see the difference. This one is filled with the color, and this one is not filled with the color. That's the difference. Okay, uh, that's how to do. field, field, not field, not field. Then this one. Uh, what's the difference now? It's going to be black. Now, um, I get this part quite well. Remember that this is filled, filled, but filled with gray. This one right now is filled with the color that is on default here. Right? So, for instance, if I'm on default of red and I then pick a rectangle or a square, whichever, if I draw it, see? Can you see that now? But despite the color, if I still pick on this, oh, okay okay so that means that i think i get this one now this one is kind of like a, a transparent color so this is the transparent color while this ones are the solid color transparent color solid color and on field completely on field but it's going to take if i decide to draw a um a rectangle or an oval or a circle with this right it's going to take the color of this the outline see yeah so that is that right now if i want to then use this line remember this was on gray before if i then want to do something now it's going to be on this color see how cool is that so that's how to use some tools here stamping that means i want to stamp something that means that it's going to appear on my screen right now so if i click here and then i stamp it see I'm just going to stamp it just stamp it you're just stamping you're just stamping the two all right you're stamping the two so you just click right here and then you stamp it you stamp it you stamp it you stamp it. it's just it's just stamping all right and uh, spotlight let me see what's see the spotlight is based on this before the arrow was not like this so you're trying to highlighting to see how oh look at this looks so nice okay so you're kind of just it's just for a spotlight okay see it's, just, it's as if you are lighting you're trying to focus just like you're trying to focus on something so because i'm trying to say oh uh, kids look at this shape can you see this one in particular can you see this is a square uh something like this is a rectangle this is a circle you're just trying to spotlight it either with this or that eraser obviously you can erase but you don't need to move like you're trying to erase just click on the object it disappears just click on the object if this is a uh, an unfilled shape so you have to click on the outline the field one you can click inside see on the outline 
inside no if you click inside no on the outline it's going to go so that's how it works that's how it, so you don't need to sh shake just click it goes oops i missed that let me undo so this is undo can you see undo right here undo and redo so let's say you removed something you want to bring it back you can undo say i'm undoing them they're coming back i'm undoing them they're coming back and i can redo okay so that's the function of undo and redo all right now remember i drew an arrow and it was black initially but because now this is red if i draw the arrow it's going to be so whatever you use in your text even the text right here let me see the text is on default of blue so i can change my text color to orange then i type in something something I, I, i'm really short of something to type right now but you get the drill all right um so that's that and you can make it ticker so you can make it ticker the line width you can make it ticker so for instance if i make the line width here ticker uh, let's say let me go back here yeah ticker right so if i want to draw anything anything that was i want to draw now compare this with this Ooh, can you see that so compare that with this anything you want to draw now is going to be ticker the outline of this shape is going to be see the outline is going to be ticker so that's what this line width remember it is line width so for the font okay let me go back to font text then I click inside here. Now, before I start, I can say I want my font to be bold. And then I want my font to be of size 72. So if I click inside now, then I type again, let's see. Oh, can you see? It's bigger. So now it's bigger. Right? So it's bigger. So before you type, just go over here. Make sure you. If, uh, change the formats that you want the font bold italics and then the font size you can make it thicker depending just work on it based on what you want all right so i've talked about this undo and redo and clear clear you have to be careful with clear and use it very well because clear you can clear all drawings that means everything goes away you can clear my own drawing my own drawing my drawings and you can clear viewers drawings so remember that you're sharing your whiteboard. So once you're sharing your whiteboard, it means that some you can um, ask your students to also do something on the whiteboard. So you can clear your own drawings. You can clear the viewers' drawings, and you can clear all drawings. So you have to know which one you want to clear so if i clear my drawings everything is going because i'm the one i can undo what i've done this is undo now if i if i clear viewers drawings there is no viewer no no child no parent no child is doing anything with my whiteboard so i cannot clear that it's not so i can clear all drawings that means both mine and the children's own and your students own you just clear everything all let me undo that again now this is the save button so can we see the save button okay i didn't i don't think i talked about select this is select so select right now you can select something select 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 so that means i can transpose this one and see this is now i want to do this 53 times 4. see select Select allows you to pick the object and move it. So every object is selectable. Select. Every object is selectable. Is this? Yeah. It's everything here is selectable. So I can select even the stamped object. I can select. So that's the function of select. So let me go back. Uh, so save right now. Once I'm done, I'll click on save. Now look at this. Um, I then can click on stop share if I'm done. Now look at this. Okay, let me go back. If you hover around this, these are going to drop. Now once this drops, those are your tools. So while you're using the whiteboard, you can still chat. So let me close this. You can still chat. You can still mute your kids. I'm the host, but let's say your kids are all here. You can still mute them. 
you can unmute all you can mute all still while chatting so you can still invite maybe somebody has not yet come in you can still quickly invite the person to come in all right invite so you can still quickly invite the person to come in you know that there's a lesson going on i've not seen you where are you you know something like that just click on that invite the person maybe via your contacts i've told you how to create contacts or via the email so that's that so it's kind of interesting very interesting so i've touched about select this there's everything everything now you know so teachers uh thumbs up i know you guys are amazing you're gonna learn this very well you're gonna master it all right undo redo clear save so this is save let me go back here again so once you as i've said earlier once you just hover around this this is going to appear the tools are going to appear again all right so you can actually pause your sharing so while you're sharing the screen you can pause the sharing so it says here your screen sharing is paused maybe you can pause your sharing to quickly chat maybe do you understand so you can pause your sharing maybe to quickly chat all right and then or maybe before you start you can quickly record yourself so that you can record this lesson if you want to record the lesson all right so teachers i think it's even advisable to record your um, whiteboard your sharing of whiteboard so you can record it is a uh, year i think it's even i think i would love it let's all record our whiteboard if if you want you can record your whiteboard now once you record your whiteboard then you can share it on Edmodo. Your kids can watch you. So any child that did not come online at that time, any child that didn't come online at that time can still watch the session. Oh, fantastic. I think I got that idea right. I think I got that idea right. Any child that did not join the session due to one situation, we cannot force everyone to be online at the same time. Some kids might not be online at that time. So while we are while we want to start the uh, whiteboard session, you can record your session. So right now, look at the button. This is the record button. This button right here, it shows that it's now recording. So we can actually record our session. So once we record our session, it's going to save. All right? It's going to save it. Okay. So that is that. Now, look at it. Remember, I post the sharing of this whiteboard i can actually resume it again so i'm going to click on resume it's back all right it's back so that is that it's so so it's so lovely so i can save my work it says whiteboard saved showing folder i can decide now i'm not going to you can click on showing folder instantly but i don't want to do that because i don't want us to be lazy at times it can disappear so fast, but it has saved. It has actually saved. That means it has saved this. This is what it saved. This is what it saved. It's not saving what we're saying. It only saved this whiteboard presentation. It's not, I say that again, it's not saving what we are speaking on or what we're doing. It's only saving this whiteboard presentation right now. So the only thing that is saving what I'm saying right now is the record. Okay. All right. Now, right here, what does this icon see? Let me click on it to see. Oh, okay. If I want that, if I want to create another page. Oh, fantastic. I didn't even observe this before. Now, look at this carefully. If you want to create another page, let's say you're done with this page. So, obviously, you can go back. Let's say you're done with this page and this page is full. You can go back. You can go create another page, page two. Do another thing with page two. Uh, page two maybe this time around you're trying to do another sum uh i want you to write 40. Uh, you can tell them okay kids so who can solve this sum right now 40 plus 55 answers now you can just give them uh maybe three minutes or two minutes answers now then once you say answer now, then obviously you have to pause. You can pause your screen. You can pause your share and let them let them talk. But you can just say answer now. Uh, I want the answers now. Then 
whichever we just just flow with it just just explore it explore it why you can say answer now you can tell you can chat them up to say okay i want to see your answers in the chat all right so this is how it works it's so cool right so resume this so this is how everything works i can create another one so it's not limited to just one page so i can create more more do you understand so i have three pages now three pages of my whiteboard and i've saved okay, let me save another, let me save this three pages this is another one right now so let me see how it saves three pages i mean i just i'm, I'm, I'm curious <laughs> like you right so right there i can now click on stop share voila we're back all right so we're back but remember it's still recording right all right so even teachers you can actually even use this share screen to create a lesson just to create a lesson they don't all have to be online they don't all have to be online you can just create the lesson with this remember i'm not with anyone this is just me i'm not with anyone so you can actually just create this lesson you can share your screen use it to, but remember once you're about to share screen try to record it since it's a lesson you want to record record your lesson click on record so you're going to record it let me stop this recording okay so i've stopped it to be converted to mp4 when the meeting ends so um as teacher maybe once you just log in like this you log into new meeting once you log into new meeting then before you click on start sharing then you start recording you can just when you once you start recording hi ah, kids in today's lesson we want to look at an illustration on how to do this and to do that then you just click on share screen so you're already recording it it's already recording right here then you go to your share screen you start recording your share screen and once you're done you stop your recording it's as easy as that okay so once you end the meeting right now i think i've touched everything on whiteboard once you end your meeting right now uh, end meeting for all as the teacher has uh, I've said earlier you, you are not supposed to leave the meeting because you're the one that organized the meeting you are supposed to end the meeting for all okay and you are not to allow any child to um, um, what's it called now yeah to unmute themselves don't allow them to unmute themselves that's not really nice you are the one to have the liberty to mute them so end meeting for all all right good so you end meeting for all and that's it the meeting has ended so look at it now you have a recording that needs to be converted before viewing so it's converting itself right now so wait for it until it converts and so uh this is super super interesting it's almost done yeah it's done yeah look at it aha this is what i want to check out it's done this is what i want to check so um you remember the first one we saved was this this was the first one we saved whiteboard one um, hurry up hurry up hurry up hurry up that's the first one we saved yeah this is the first one we saved but look at it right now this one is written two 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 this was the second one we saved so the so look at it it saved it for you as one the first one you saved two the second one you saved so we saved it based on page one page two and page three page three was empty so this is your video right now this is your video that you recorded uh, while this is your audio i've talked about that in your previous videos you can check the links below to see other ways you can use uh, you can view this this is audio only so if you want to just share the audio to your kids on edmodo you can do that the ed audio of the lesson you want to share the video but audio of the lesson is not really too nice because kids can be bored with audio uh, the video is okay for you to share yes, and I've you can click and then rename it and maybe you can call it uh, plants 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 part based on the lesson you did you can rename it all right so this is a view right now so teachers in case you're using a pc not a mac you can go over here to view 
So sometimes you might find out that it's on details. Sometimes you can find out that it's on details, which is not bad. You can actually make it on large icons. You can make it on extra large icons so that you can even preview it without opening it yet. All right. So <laughs> you can just explore this also. View. Remember, view and then just explore it and just check it out. See what you can do with it. All right. Okay. So right now, let me open up the zoom again. This is right here, you know, home, right here. So in the next lesson, we're going to share screen again, but we're going to share screen with probably like a worksheet instead of the whiteboard. Or we're going to share screen with probably like a, a YouTube video online or a web browser. Just watch it. All right, that's going to be the next video. All right, guys, teachers, well done.